in this video I will cover how to assemble upper bounce trampoline and going to give you A to Z information how to enclose the net and easiest way to put a springs. guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Sonia so welcome to my channel today's video I'm going to share with you upper bounce trampoline and I'm going to assemble this trampoline and going to review this product and this product I order from Wayfair and going to give you A to Z information the surveys and the quality I like it and didn't like it all that things i'm going to share in this video if you'd like to see this video then without any further ado let's get into the video so this video is not a sponsored video i just ordered this trampoline from uh, wayfair and the brand is upper bounce and going to give you all the detail first we are going to open this is the box i received and i'm going to take out everything before you assemble the trampoline always count and check all the pieces carefully and watch the video to the end for their service and review took all the pieces out and i put it in a different different pile trampoline weight capacity is 330 pound and this is a safety pad this thickness is half inch and width is 10 inch pad and jump surface is uv resistant these side poles comes with the foam sleeves These are four pieces to make a trampoline frame. And these are extension legs. It's supposed to be eight and I got seven and one extension legs was missing in my package. In this video, in the end, I will share all the detail about that. I got a safety net in a black. These are four more pieces to extend the frame. Side pole topper to hold the net uv resistant jump pad the blue sleeve covers to protect the foam cover and it comes with the four legs and this is a spring comes with it and this is a spring trampoline not a spring glass and this is the hardware comes with it And here is the one rope to secure the net I will share with you in the end and this is the paper comes with it and if they said if there is any missing part to contact upper bounds but uh, I contact Bayfair I will let you know in the end so now we are going to assemble this and here is two type of side frame one with a small leg and now you can attach these all Now you can use a screw it comes with it some screw holes was not straight and it is really hard to screw you can use a screwdriver it comes with it now trampoline frame is ready so this way you can assemble the frame and now we are going to attach our legs these are extension legs and you can join this then you can screw and my one extension legs was missing and it will look like this and now we are going to attach these legs we just assembled with the extension legs Next we are going to attach a jumping mat. This is in a black and this is a ring on a side to attach a spring. Think of the jumping mat as a clock and place springs at 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock and 9 o'clock. Place the springs in this way then the resistance from the springs will be evenly spread it out ensuring the rest of the springs attach easier with the less resistance. You can use a t-hook included in the kit to put the springs on 
and I had some missing spring and uh, missing extension leg and uh, keep going we'll let you know in a end next we are going to attach the side poles with the push button first you can use the whole one and on the top you can use the push button and this is the push button on a top so you can attach the other pole on a top So this way you can attach all the side poles and you can use a foam on a top. Next we are going to attach a safety pad. Next we are going to attach a foam sleeves and nut. Next we are going to use a sleeve cover to protect the foam covers. This net comes with an elastic and a clip. You can attach the clip on a bottom like this. After elastic clip it looks like this but this is not a fully secure. You have to secure like this. So now I'm going to share with you how you can do that. You can use the rope included with a trampoline to help the net sit flush against the jumping mat. First tie the string to the trampoline frame and then weave it through the net and the jumping mat loops and so on until you reach the end of the rope and then tie it to the trampoline frame again to secure and this way you can secure the net and this trampoline have a zipper closer Once you and your kids go in, you can zip it back because the zipper on a both side. You can close from inside, you can open from inside or outside and this is for your safety. And now you can enjoy. And keep the entrance close to steps and this trampoline knot comes with a ladder and uh, I try to keep the entrance close to my deck steps and now let's talk about their service and their view the missing parts I ordered this trampoline from Wayfair and I contact straight to the Wayfair and I didn't contact to upper bounds and uh, Wayfair they helped me a lot and they send me all the missing parts some 
some spring screw and uh, extension leg and I love their service they helped me a lot and it took almost two week and I received my missing parts and I'm happy with the service and uh, I didn't return this product because this product was so heavy so uh, then I contact them they helped me so I'm happy with the service and happy with the product and I love this trampoline so far and my kids love it and hope you like all the details I just share with you so hope you like today's video if you like this video like comment and share and I will see you in another coming video until then take care guys and bye